In this episode, I am going to talk about how you can rename your document library folder or document set name using Power Automate. And for that, we are going to use SharePoint REST API as a concept. So without further delay, let's get started. But if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, please do follow me. So let's get started. Here I am on my machine and first of all, let me show you the document library structure. So here I have one document library called travel notifications. And this is the document set which I have created inside my document library. Now, whenever you create a new, you can see this is the new document set I do have over here. Let me click on travel docs and let me create one new document set over here. So I am just creating here as T003 and simply click on OK. This will create a new document set for me. And now if I upload any new document, that document will be available over here inside this document set. Now the requirement here is I have all of this document set. Now I want to rename my document set. So let's say for an example, I have T001. So after that, I want to append current month, which is November. Okay. So basically I want to rename my document set value, but this is what I wanted to do with the help of power automate and in a programming way. So how can we do that? This thing we can achieve with the help of Power Automate flow and SharePoint REST API. So here I have opened my Power Automate flow. So first of all, you need to add an action get files property only from the SharePoint. Simply expand that. First, let's provide the site address and library name. So I provided both of this information and then you simply need to use add an HTTP request to the SharePoint. So let's add a new step over here and just simply search for send HTTP request to SharePoint. And when you do that, first you need to provide the site address. So I'm just providing my site address over here. Here you need to provide a method. So I need to provide post method. And here we need to write the SharePoint REST API concept. So the REST API endpoint is looking like this. You need to add API web get folder by server relative URL. Inside that here you need to provide your document set path and then list item all fields. Now here let's provide the library name. So in our case, the library name is travel notifications. So let's copy this name over here. So this is my document library name. And then you need to use slash after slash. You need to provide which document set you wanted to rename. So let's see if you wanted to rename T001, then you need to pass T001 over here. Okay. But in case here, I wanted to do for all the documents that available here. So what I'm going to do here is simply, I'm just going to use the name property from the get files property. So let's just use name property over here, name property. And that will add apply to each loop over here. So for every files, we wanted to do that. Then we need to provide header. So for header, click on switch to text mode and use this code. I'm just using this three code. And if I convert it to a key value pair, this is how it looks like, except X HTTP mode and if match, just add this stuff. And then in body, we need to provide the name of the document set, which name you wanted to rename with. So you need to basically supply these two properties, title and file LEF reference. So over here in title, whichever name was there. So whatever name property that we find there. And with that, I wanted to add the date time. So I will just use dash after that. And simply we will use expression UTC now. And we will simply use format date time inside that UTC now. And then I just wanted this as a format MMMM. -M -M -M. Okay. So I'm done with that. Click on save. And this is how it looks like. Let me copy the same stuff over here for the file LEF reference as well and we'll simply use the same expression okay so that's how this looks like let's just remove this unwanted space and final look looking like this so this is how the overall call of sharepoint raised api looks like okay now let's have a taste but before that in get files property only let me just use top count as one for the tasting once i'm comfortable with it i will run it for all the items 
okay so let's just do this let's use taste and use taste manually and let's see what we are getting here run the flow click on done okay and here we are it ran successfully and now if i look at this document set you can see that this document set value has been renamed successfully okay now i wanted to repeat the same process for this one and this one as well so for that i will again go to my power automate flow i will simply remove this top count to thousand okay and then i will run this flow again but before that let me just revert this back because i want the proper name over here as well so i'm manually renaming that okay i just keep this as original and then let's run our flow so sharepoint raised api will go through iterate through every item and rename the stuff so let's click on done and let's see what we are getting over there so it's done let's refresh it and you can see that it has renamed this perfectly and you can see for every document set now we have the proper month appended over here looking for any training or consultation this is the website link on my channel cover home page or if you wanted to follow me all the links are available over here so just click on that and don't forget to subscribe my channel